hello guys in today's episode we're going to see how we're going to do our project and environment setup i went ahead and created a starter template project that we can use going forward in this series after the video i'm going to post a link in the video description so that you can be able also to clone and have it as your starting point in case of any questions or comments you just uh, shoot them on the comment section so let's get that to it so number one I went ahead and created a sample controller which basically is just a simple rest controller which exposes uh, an endpoint so that we can be able to test and see if we can be able to expose our localhost to the public domain in such a way that uh, in this case uh, the callbacks from safaricom will be able to reach our localhost so without further much ado let's go ahead and run our sample project as you can see the application has started and it is running on port 8080 don't mind this error for now we're going to come back later to it so if i now open uh, let's say postman and do a local host a local host 8080 forward slash sample you're going to see we're getting a result so this we locally we are able to reach this endpoint so now the next question is what if now we want now to reach this uh, localhost endpoint from our public domain so with that that is where now a tool called ngrock comes into place so you can just uh, go ahead and type uh, ngrock from that just click maybe the first link that opens You'll be required to sign up you can sign up using your google account so once you've signed up and logged in the next step would be coming here to set up and installation it's a pretty straightforward process so just download your executable and zip it then connect uh, to your account basically these are just the steps that we are going to be taking uh, so that we can be able to fire up ngrock on our machines so let's go on my part i had already downloaded that so i'm just going to come and uh, just copy this it's a pretty straightforward process so and the, an authentication has been saved so from that now to start our our ng rock so that it can expose our port we just go and type ng rock http in our case our application is running on port 8080 so now once you press enter you'll be able to see that uh, there are various there are various uh, information that you can be able to see at uh, on this terminal so number one if you come back here and then check on the status then on the tunnels i'll have to refresh this if you refresh this you see that now we have two endpoints which we can be able to expose in this case it could be now the safaricom uh, callback url but something to note here is you have two endpoints one is an https and one is an http so let us use one of these and see what's going to happen so if i maybe copy this i can even copy that so actually if you click on it you see that uh, it's getting a 404 because it's going directly to the root of our application so in this case if i now come here and uh, 8080 with our domain that ngrock has given us and then i hit enter you see we're also able to to see that is being hit so the next question comes how can we be able to see uh, the results maybe that are being that are going to be posted on this particular url so on the terminal that we created you're going to see there is a web interface url that ngrock is going to to give us so from that i'm just going to come maybe let me close this for now close this then if i enter see, these are all the requests that are incoming so basically that's just about it so if i now hit another endpoint let me see sample i can even uh, do that sample control working see we're able to see uh, the responses that are going to be incoming so with that so far our project and environment has been set up so see you on the next one